but there's only one way to eat an elephant. There's only one way to look at this, this, this journey. And that's one bite at a time, literally. <laughs> Monday morning I just dropped the kids off to basketball camp so maybe about three you know a month ago they were at this basketball camp before it is at a different location this time it's at the location that I thought it was going to be at last time but it's um, so it's at a local university here um, they knew all the people who were there so they were happy to see them again and reunite so they all do that all week so with that my me, my daughter and i we will not be able to exercise together this week um i didn't even exercise this morning well let's just go back so you saw all my blood sugars so far this week did i even introduce myself <laughs> sorry my name is patrice patrice Denise, and i'm on a journey to live a healthy sustainable lifestyle one day at a time one step at a time while conquering and controlling diabetes and when I say conquering diabetes, I mean just taking full control over it and not letting it control me. And I am on the medication Monjaro, which is a medication for uh, type 2 diabetes to help with managing the blood sugar. It also aids because of the delayed gastric emptying and other properties. It aids in weight loss. So, yes. You saw all my blood sugars from before, from Thursday on to today. Now... I was in Universal Studios. Well, I was in Florida at Universal Studios uh, this past weekend. So my blood sugars were actually great during that time. I take that to be because I did a lot of walking. I did a lot of walking at uh, Islands of Adventure. I did a lot of walking at Universal Studios. And I'll pop the video up here so you can check it out if you would like. Um, and... We just walked, we walked, you know, nonstop. Now, when I returned home on the day, yeah, the day when, when we, oh, when I returned home, I didn't do a lot of walking <clears> or <throat> exercise. I didn't do any at all. So I, 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 I like that I'm journaling <clears throat> this and documenting this because I can see that my blood sugars are lower on the <clears throat> mornings after excuse me <clears throat> the mornings after i had those long walks so that lets you know that exercise does help with your blood sugars as well because in all transparency my food choices were not better at by any means than when i'm at home so even though I was eating things that I don't normally eat, my blood sugar was so good that next morning. So I take that to be that exercise definitely helps or uh, with managing your blood sugars as well. So, yep, I am gonna continue on this week. I'm not sure how this week is going to uh, pan out with, um, I know blood sugars are good, but weight wise, because like I said, I was eating whatever I felt like doing. <laughs> and I say that, you know, I always say I'm living in moderation. So I'm not, I don't, I don't deprive myself from anything. 
If I want a chocolate chip cookie, I eat a chocolate chip cookie, which I ate one last night. If I want something, you know, that's not necessarily low carb or in plan, because I don't eat low carb, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna eat it. I don't deprive myself. Now, do I eat it all the time? No. I'm going. I always eat in moderation because I believe that is the sustainable way, so that I don't go and binge and just rah, 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 eat all you know things that I'm not supposed to. So I eat in moderation. But yep. So we're going to continue on this week. We're going to uh, keep. Pushing. I want to go exercise. Well, I want to go walking today. But I don't think that's going to happen because look at the sky. Yeah, I don't think walking is going to happen today. Yesterday it poured down raining, so I doubt if it's going to happen today. So I'll probably just walk on my treadmill this evening um, just to make sure I get some cardio in. Might not make it to the gym this week, but I definitely will do cardio and do... I have weights at home I can use and do some things at home. Cause that's just as effective doing your exercises at home so um yeah we'll continue on continue on with this week like i said before i'm not sure the outcome of this week i did step on the scale this morning and i was like girl <laughs> but i know it's a lot to do with what, what happened over the past couple days so i enjoyed the past couple days and i don't regret it so we're just gonna keep on keeping on feel like a poke bowl for lunch so I'm coming to Poke Brothers to get that. Yeah. Alright, real quick what I got in my bowl I'm going to show you now because when I get back to the office, I think we got music playing, so um, look at all those hair ties. <laughs> Anyways, um, I got marinated tuna, marinated salmon, there's some brown rice underneath there, uh, lettuce, edamame, cucumber, um, ginger, green onions, pineapple, corn, and I think that's it. I'll eat half now and save the other half for another time. the kids are off to basketball camp day two for them yesterday I did not get to do my exercise I didn't do cardio didn't walk it's not because of the rain it's because I um, a friend of mine came into town um, high school friends and it's, I'm so you know glad that or appreciative that even though we are plus years after graduation whenever he comes to town or whenever we go to his town we can always meet up and um, pick up where we left off so it's good to have friends like that that are far away that you could always catch up with so we did that last night um, we did an early dinner which went to a late in the in the night not late in the night but like eight o'clock they had to get home and um, 
wash my hair and braid it like this as you can see because I am going out of town this weekend and I like to braid my hair um, sometimes at the beginning of the week and it stays like this and then when I let it out or take it down it's crimpy or curly so that's why my hair is like this so don't mind this don't mind this <laughs> but this morning I did do my cardio so I did cardio and my friend last night he was like I haven't seen you jump roping he's more on Instagram um, than anything else so he was like I haven't seen you jump roping you see you, you stop you stop what's going on so it inspired me to do some jump rope this morning because I was thinking well maybe I should do another challenge but then I was when I was doing my cardio my walk this morning I was like why wait and start a whole challenge when I can just go do some jump ropes? So I did like 30, 30, 300 and something jump ropes, jumps today, this morning. And I'm just going to try to continue that on. So off to work. So, as y'all saw, this has been an eventful, well, y'all didn't see it in this video, but <laughs> this has been an eventful week. So, I would say from last Wednesday up until today, this Wednesday, you know, going to Universal Studios and then meeting up with my friend. This has been um, a week. <laughs> so, blood sugar wise. So the lowest blood sugar for this week was 81. And that was during the time when I was at Universal Studios. I think that was the second. I keep saying Universal Studios like I was at Universal Studios the whole time we was in Florida. <laughs> but that was, you know, the main attraction for the um, trip. But we that was the second day in Florida. I'm sorry about all the bumps. I'm on this. They need to fix this highway. But that was the second day and was well, second morning. So we had walked that uh, those it was two days. That was a, there was a lot of walking going on those past two days. So that was an 81, and then the highest blood sugar was 108, which is fine, still um, within normal parameters. So blood sugar still hanging strong on the five milligram dose of Manjaro. So no need to move up in in, in dose because of my blood sugars are still hanging strong. Now. Let's go to the weight. So I kind of gave y'all a peek. Yep. Oh, y'all come up here. Sorry. I kind of gave y'all a peek at, um, well, gave y'all a, 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 a hint that I had some gains, but I actually came back down some. <laughs> when I measured this morning, I was at 168.2. And as I look back, and that's why I, I'm loving my, this journey and documenting. Um, and we'll talk more about, well, okay. So, 168.2 was uh what i was that's let me see how should i say it for the month of june that was the highest that i was with 168.2 the lowest that i was in june was 165.8 so from then to so from there from my lowest point to my highest point in June, I am, you know, still hanging strong, still hanging steady. So, July, it was filled with a bunch of celebrations. My birthday. <laughs> a lot of my uh, friend's birthday, my uh, sister's birthday, my niece's birthday, and coming up my husband's birthday. So, hang tight. I got one more celebration to get under my belt. <laughs> but... Um, that, but that's no excuse. That's no excuse. Just because we celebrate this celebration doesn't mean I would just jump off the ledge and go in the deep end or anything like that. But I have been eating a little on the over moderation side of things. But I will say, I will say, being on the five milligram dose of Manjaro, even just still on the five milligram dose of Manjaro, my appetite is still controlled. 
my appetite is still controlled because okay so this past um saturday we went to this place called old time buffet if anybody is in um where was that at that one was in was it in savannah i think it was in savannah the one we were in um uh, the, the one we went to um we went to old time buffet and old time country buffet yeah and let me tell you i was some good food good food and I, even though I could have, I could have ate more. I could have ate a lot more, but my stomach wouldn't allow me to. So, being on the five milligram dose of manjaro, I think it's still fine because it's still doing what it's supposed to do. Now, did I do what I was supposed to do all the time this week? No, because I did eat things that I normally don't eat, which is fine, which is fine. As long as I wheel myself back in now and say, okay, look at what's going on. Look at what's going on. We don't want to creep all the way back up. So I'm still at 168.2, which is the highest I was all in June. So um, I'm okay. And also, I was looking at a YouTube video today while I was doing my walk. And I you know, walked uh, on my treadmill this morning. Her name is, uh, the YouTuber, her name is Nikki Gets Fit. And she started her journey with oops, with being on Weight Watchers. And she's been documenting her journey on Weight Watchers. And she's lost a ton of weight on Weight Watchers. And she even has a cookbook. She has a lot of stuff. So check her out. But she was just giving us tips. She, she posted a video yesterday. I watched it this morning. She was giving us uh, which the five things. I think she said five things. Five things that she wished she knew before she started her weight loss journey. And that really resonated with me. One of the things was that, again which I know, scale is not the only indication of your success in the journey. Now, she kind of helped me to put things in perspective because I have been doing strength training. Now, I can't attribute the gain that I've had in the last couple of weeks to just strength training because that's not it. I, I know I've been eating things I shouldn't have. Uh, well, I, I don't want to say shouldn't because it's okay. It's okay to eat things in moderation. But, um she helped to point out she showed pictures and maybe i should start i don't know we'll see but she take she took pictures and she really didn't do measurements but she's been taking pictures of her progress she's been documenting her weight too but she's been taking pictures of her progress and she's actually heavier i think she said like at least seven pounds or so or more heavier than her lowest weight back in 2021 but she's a lot smaller because she has been doing all that strength training and uh, she put it a, a good way that muscle takes up more up uh, muscle takes up less space than fat so they the muscle a pound of muscle a pound of fat still the same but it takes less space so that's 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 what I was trying to say that past video but I just couldn't get it out so I see all that to say that I'm, I'm not I will the three pounds that I've gained, is it three pounds? So 165.8. Not even three pounds. Because it's one, four. So like 2.4 pounds? 66.8, 67.8, eight, eight. Yeah, so only two point. Okay, so that's not even that's not even that. Okay, so this week I gained 1.6 pounds all from my lowest weight so far to record of 165.8. I've gained 2.4 pounds. If that's not correct, my math is not mathing, then I'll put up the correct amount here. So I've gained 2.4 pounds altogether since my lowest recorded weight thus far. Okay. So I mean, I'll 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 we'll we'll wheel it back in, wheel it back in, and give me one more celebration to get under my belt. Hopefully that doesn't cause anything astronomical to happen with my weight. <laughs> but I feel good still. So that's what it's all about. I feel good. That's what she was saying. I feel good. My, I feel good in the body that I'm in, the skin that I'm in, the place that I'm in. Um, I know I could do better with my choices this past month, but I feel good. So we're just gonna keep hanging strong. Oh. Another um, non-scale victory, and I'm pulling up to the, the place I need to be right now for it, so that's why I need to show you guys. 
another non-scale victory this week it's not even for myself, but it's for my daughter. You know, my daughter and I, we like to exercise together. She's on her separate journey. And, you know, I'm not um, by any means restricting things from her. Um, she, you know, we do things in moderation. Let's put it like that. But she is doing great. She's doing great. She has lost inches. So that's why I say non scale but she lost inches. I'm actually, I just pulled up to the post office and I have to return this box full of stuff she got from Shein. She went, she ordered some things from Shein. So a bunch of stuff is in here. A bunch of stuff, as you can see. Look all this stuff. We have to send all that back because she has lost a lot of inches and they're too big. So I am proud of her for what she is doing, what she is, you know, sticking to what she's doing. And that's a great non scale victory. So give her a round of applause. <laughs> so, yes, I'm going to continue on, continue it on. Let's, okay, yes, one another, another thing that I, um, that really resonated with me this week is. The thought of um, so at work we have we're going to start a new program and um, a computer program software and you know when that happens everybody gets all to all in a tizzy and oh gosh you know looking at the what it's going to take all this and all that um, and just you know everything that comes with it and it gets us all in a tizzy and, and we just get overwhelmed. Well, one of my coworkers she put it like this to us. She says. Um, she was saying that there's only one way to eat an elephant, and I was like, Wait, "What? Are we, now we eating elephants and stuff? We trying to get this computer software?" But it was a good analogy. Um, the guy Desmond Tutu is the person who was quoted for saying this: that there's only one way to eat an elephant, and that is a bite at a time. So with this weight loss journey with anything in life with this I, and I'm and I, I don't I'm, I'm trying to get away from saying weight loss journey I want to say health journey but with this health journey because I'm conquering and and overcoming and controlling diabetes and not letting it control me but there's only one way to eat an elephant there's only one way to look at this 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 journey and that's one bite at a time literally <laughs> So I, you know, one bite at a time of what I put in my mouth, but also just one task, one step, one hurdle, one, one thing at a time, one thing at a time. So it, they go, he goes on to say, or they summarize it by saying everything in life that seems daunting, overwhelming, and even impossible can be accomplished gradually by taking on just a little at a time so i know i'm looking at the bigger picture and i'm looking at what i my goals and things like that but this is an ongoing journey this is an ongoing journey and i can't conquer and 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 and, and do everything all at once and i can only just take it one step at a time one day at a time one bite at a time and then that elephant will be eaten. So guys, we're just gonna continue on, continuing on one day at a time, one step at a time. How is your week going? I hope your week is going just great. I hope you are having some scale victories <laughs> as well as some non-scale victories. I hope you are feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what you're doing for yourself. Let us know in the comments below how you're doing. I appreciate your love, your support, I appreciate you being my accountability partner because you pushed me to continue on. In the past, hey, um, I might not have been weighing myself every week. I might not even been weighing myself every month. And so things might have, things had spiraled out of control easily in the past, but not this time, not this time. This is a journey that's gonna keep on going and it's gonna keep on going. So continue to stick with me i'll continue to stick with you and until the next video i love you guys and god bless